So if you're actively playing video games, you probably have a favorite franchise or franchises. And in my case, Fire Emblem's one of the top ones for me. So that brings us to the point of I want to replay all my Fire Emblem games. So I asked my community tab, would you guys rather I play the NES version or the DS version? And I wasn't even surprised. Everybody picked the DS version because it does have like the upgraded graphics and visuals. So that's the one that I'm gonna be playing. And yes, I do own the physical game, but I'm gonna be playing it on the Wii U's virtual console because I bought those games up there too, and it's gonna be easier for me to record. So without further ado, today we're gonna to be talking about the prologue, which on the DS is the first four chapters. So our story starts long ago when Medius, the king of the dragonkin, started taking over the entire continent of Arcania. And when I'm telling you this man was like taking everything over, he was. But then this hero came out of nowhere holding a sacred sword, the Falchion, the Blade of Light, and he pretty much beat Medius. Like he, he beat him. And centuries has gone by Everybody's kind of living in peace, not necessarily full peace, but you know, they're not being controlled by some Dragon King guy. But then the Dragon King comes back and he partners up with the Sorcerer and they pretty much start taking over all over again. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so like, wh what are we gonna do now? And of course, that means the descendant of that hero, so that's the current king of Altia, is going to try to take on the Dragon King. And his family, which is his daughter, his son, and his wife, are all left at his kingdom while he goes and fights the Dragon King. They're also there with their neighboring allies, the Kingdom of Gra. And this is kind of where our actual gameplay starts. So Martha's just kind of chilling at the kingdom, and then all of a sudden one of his soldiers is like, Hey, sire, um, your sister says to get ready as soon as possible and head to the throne room. So you're just kind of like, Oh, okay father must be coming back from beating the dragon king or something so let me go and talk to my sister in the throne room you start heading there and then all of a sudden there's all these soldiers from gra our ally by the way that are looking for us and they're just kind of telling us to surrender why would i surrender when this is my kingdom like i'm not about to do that so of course they start attacking us and we're just kind of like Wait, why is our ally attacking us? Like, what's going on? We defeat them, we get to the throne, our sister's like, Martha, we have to go. Like, me and mother got separated, but we gotta get out of here. You are like the country's only hope and you're gonna be the wielder of the Falchion in the end. We don't know the state of father right now, so we have to go. Gra is taking over our kingdom. Martha's like, oh, okay, sis, let's go. And she's like, I have to stay here for a while because I have to make sure that our country doesn't see that we all flee together. I'll meet up with you later, Marv. So please, just get out of here, meet up with Jagan, meet up with Abel, like just go, go. So Marv leaves his sister and we're kind of like at that moment where you know this is the last time he's going to see her, but he doesn't know this is the last time he's going to see her. So your, your sister's just like, have a good life, live. We meet up with Frey and Abel, and they're pretty much like, Sire, you made it. We have to get out of the kingdom as soon as possible, but we're being barricaded by Gra. And we're just like, oh, okay, well, we need to meet up with Jagan. And it's like, yeah, he's on the other side. We just have to get through here. So we beat up all these units, like, you know, the, this is Fire Emblem. We, we take them down and we meet up with not only Jagan, but Kane and Cain has something important to tell us. So as we're fleeing, we finally make it out of the castle and we get to like a clearing and Cain's finally able to deliver us the message that our father actually passed away and was killed because they were ambushed by Gra soldiers who were amongst their army and they took the Falchion. So now Martha's starting to like really have everything set in. We don't know where our mother is. Our father has been slain. Our sister is still at the kingdom. We're just like, everything is just boiling in our brain and we don't know what to do. And Jagan is just pretty much like, hey, sire, you have to, you know, become level-headed. Everything's gonna be fine. We'll get the Falchion back. 
I'm sorry about your father, but we have to calm the countrymen. So show them that their prince is here and that they are safe. So we're about to go to the houses and talk to the countrymen. But of course, we're, we're still being tailed by Gras. So we got to fight some more soldiers. We're over here fighting them. We're doing our thing. And yeah, we, we take over their stronghold and we feel very victorious. So then Melodis shows up and Marth's like, Melodis, where is my sister Elise? Oh, she stayed behind. And Martha's just like, well, we got to go back. And they're like, sire, no. She decided to stay with the kingdom so that you could get away and be safe. You are going to be the champion that is going to wield the Falchion and get Altia back. But the only way to do that is by keeping you safe. So I already ordered a boat for us to escape, but we have to go through a prison in the north to be able to get out of here. But the problem is, you know, Gra is there. So, you know, we gotta be discreet about it. And, and Martha's just like, my sister is in the castle. Yes, I know. But sometimes in war, we have to make these decisions. So, you know, obviously Marth is starting to feel pitiful, but we have to move forward. We make it to the prison. Okay, we're this close to being able to get to the port. We just have to get through all these Gra soldiers and hopefully they don't send reinforcements and we'll be fine. But little do we know, this is an ambush. They already planned for Marv to get here and they're like, yeah, we're gonna have him get through here and kill one of his own people and then we'll be able to call him a tyrant. So turns out they actually have one of our archers named Gordon and they have him gagged and dressed up as a Gras soldier. That way when Marf breaks in to the prison, he'll see him and be like, oh snap, it's an ambush, and then just kill him. Like, that's the plan here. We're doing our own thing, we're breaking through, we eventually get there, and yeah, the guy was right. Like, Marf literally was pretty much like, yo, this is, a, this is an ambush. But he realizes that Gordon is actually bound and gagged and pulls the gag out of his mouth, and he's like, wait a minute, I think I recognize you. And it's like, oh yeah, sire, I'm actually one of your archers. And they put me in these clothes because they wanted you to kill me. And then he's like, oh, that's terrible. War is terrible. Like, people be doing this? And everybody's like, yeah, people be doing this. So we're making our way through, but we can't get through this door. And all of a sudden we hear all this clanking of like heavy metal. And it turns out Gra has sent reinforcements and not just any reinforcements it's like they're top troops and we're just like oh snap yeah like we we gotta like route them too but then you know Melodis is like sir there's no way we can do this we have to send out somebody to be a decoy and pretend to be you and you know that way we can escape and Marf's just like what are you talking about I'm not about to send anybody out there to die we're gonna get out of here together. No, no, sire. That can't work. There's no other way. You and me both know that this isn't gonna end unless we send somebody out. We have to. And of course, while I'm playing the game, I'm over here thinking like Marth. I'm like, there's no way I'm just gonna let my people die. I'm gonna try my best to do this. So of course I played the level just to find out that you legit cannot complete this level without getting rid of somebody you have to sacrifice somebody so i'm over here getting to the point where i'm like oh i'm about to die there is no escape i literally have to <laughs> send somebody out so i had to reset my game and i was disappointed but then i thought to myself because even though i didn't play through the whole thing for mystery of the emblem i pretty much got you know i played the first few chapters and there was never Frey. Frey wasn't a real character. So I was pretty much like, hmm, if I'm gonna sacrifice somebody, I'm gonna sacrifice Frey. He's got blue hair. They probably made this character just for the prologue. That way you'll have a reason to sacrifice him because I'm not about to let go of Cain or Abel or Jagan. Like Jagan is like a character that you're gonna need for the first few chapters. You, you, you need him. Like, you need him. So, unfortunately, we had to let go of Best Boy Frey. He went out there, they saw him, and they were like, hey, yeah, you know what? You see that Marf that's with the group? There's two Marfs. 
And then there's a morph that just ran into the forest. And they're like, well, obviously the one that ran into the forest is the real one. The real one wouldn't stay with his troops because he knows he'll die that way. So they go after Frey, who, you know, is dressed like us, and we just press forward. They unlock the doors because they're like, hey, yeah, you know what? You know, let's kill the rest of these guys that are left behind. But but they didn't because we killed them. And, you know, after we won, Marth felt even worse because not only did his sister get left behind, his father died, and, you know, now we just sacrificed Frey. It's like all of this stuff is weighing on him. Mother's probably dead. It, it's just everything is weighing on him. We finally meet up with Drake. He's like, yeah, um, we got to get on the boat as soon as possible because they're closing the ports because they know that you were coming, sire. And we watch Altia just disappear into the distance. And this is kind of like that moment that like formed Marth into the person that he is now. He's like, I have to be able to fix this because right now I am a craven and my people are pretty much like, our prince has done nothing for us. My sister is probably dead. My mother is probably dead. My father is dead. Frey is dead. Like, I, I have to avenge everybody. And Jagan is just like, yeah, remember this day, man. Let it, let it fuel you. Like, remember this day. Because, you know, it happens. And we're just like, nah, it don't just happen. We're going to avenge them. We're going to fix them. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the prologue. Uh, it's a lot, <laughs> but I do like that this game actually has a prologue because as I said in the NES version, you just kind of go right into chapter one, which is where we're going now. And you're just kind of thrown into the fray. So you're just like, oh, okay, we're already mid battle. You don't really know what's happening. Like you get like a quick synopsis before you play, but like now you really experienced it. And yeah. So I'm going to be playing this probably every other week and I'll be posting it on Fridays because it's going to be Fire Emblem Fridays. So if you're interested in this kind of content, you know, make sure you hit that like button. That way I know that you guys actually are interested in Fire Emblem and hit the subscribe button. That way you know when I'm posting because YouTube holds like my channel hostage and you will never see it again. Like, trust me, they suppress this channel. But yeah, guys. Make sure you drink some water, take care of yourself, and of course, stay spooky.